Hi, I'm Ben and I'm the CTO here at BIMObject. And in this step-by-step -step video tutorial, I'll be describing how the Stowe facade cladding system works for Revit 2013 and 2014. So the families and the installation files and material files can be downloaded free of charge from BIMObject.com and if you search for the manufacturer Stowe, you'll gain access to them. So as you can see here, we have some materials and textures. We have a Revit project file and we have the installation file for the application as well. For a detailed tutorial on how to install the application for Revit 2013 and 2014, you can find a link here in the information bar. So as you can see here, I've gone ahead and downloaded and opened up the Revit project file, which contains the four different uh, walls, wall types here. You can load these into an existing file via the project standard transfer. So what I'm just doing here is checking none and I just want to bring in my wall types here. So if we take OK and we just want to take the new walls. So what you'll see now is that under the system walls we have the four new wall types, the Stove Vario D and the Ventec. So there's actually two systems as you can see here. Now this is the, the product modeling toolbar. We're showing here the, the Ventec system and the Vario D+. So the system is very easy to use. You simply choose the framing type that you would like in the Ventec instance and click on the wall that you would like to clad. As you can see here, we have some wind protection boards, air and moisture barriers. We have aluminum frames, insulation, plaster carrier boards, base coats. And in some instances, the wind, and air, the wind protection and air moisture won't be needed. So we have the option to be able to turn these on and off, of course. We have the different plaster carrier boards, the base coats, the primers, the reinforcing net, and the different finishes as well. So we have a finishing render and a decorative render as well with the ceramics, glass mosaic, and natural stone. For the carrier board dimensions, I'll just leave these at default. All of the information regarding the settings for the stool facade placement um, are available on the respective country website for Stow. So if you have a uh, specifics for your particular area, you can go to your local website and find the information that you need so that you can have the, uh, the right size of the installation and uh, the boards, etc. So what you're seeing here now is the aluminium framing system. It's a T framing system. And when we're placing these out, we're placing out everything. So you can see here in the background, we're placing out the T frames, the, the echo board and the wind protection. And finally, the, the, the final render finishing. So if we just zoom in here and have a quick look, if I go ahead and select these and just delete these different finishes here. So we're showing every single layer, as you can see here, that um, is included in the system all the way down to the, uh, to the echo board, as you can see here, and then the insulation with the T-framing. So it's very detailed and it makes it very easy for you to schedule every individual component so you can send it away for an offer and for pricing. So by clicking or selecting one of the families in the, the 3D window and clicking on our BIM object app and showing the information, you'll actually be taken back to that particular products page on bimobject.com. What I'm showing here now is the steel framing system. As you can see, there's a few differences um, between the aluminium system and the steel framing system. The steel framing system is actually a horizontal system and again for local information if you go to your local STO website you'll be able to find detailed information regarding the different framing systems for your particular area. In this instance you can see here that uh, with the horizontal steel framing solution in some instances the, s the insulation will not be needed so you have the option to turn that off as well. So you can see here the horizontal framing system as well. So if I just go ahead and clad the next wall here and just wait for that to finish. So again what, I, what I'd like to do is just go ahead and quickly turn off the different layers here and show the framing system. As you can see here, the horizontal framing system. In this instance, we have the insulation included as well. But again, it may not be needed in some instances. So what I'd like to show here now is just the different sizes. So we have some different thicknesses and some different widths for the particular system. 
and as you can see here that the uh, the horizontal framing sizes are a little different so they can be combined and mixed and matched as well so what I'd like to do now is in the Ventec system just show the final system here which is the timber framing system now the timber framing system is a, a more generic system so the the timber framing or the timbers can actually be purchased from uh, from anyone so if we just zoom in here again we're setting out all of the timber framing uh, with all of the respective layers as well and um, what makes it good about this system is that for pricing and purchasing you get a very detailed schedule that you can send to your local stew supplier and they can give you a very detailed uh, pricing as well um, from your BIM model, directly from your BIM model. Again, you can see all of the timbers that we're placing out here as well around the windows and in the whole system. As you can see in the, uh, in the settings before, we had different uh, thicknesses of the insulation as well. So what I'm showing here now is the delete facade panels. So we can go through and delete all of the facades as well. So I've taken all that away. So what I'd like to do now is just quickly show the Stu Therm Vario D Plus system. So what I've done now is placed out a 300 millimeter insulation. So as you can see here, if we zoom in a little bit closer, is that we're actually showing two different insulation layers. So in the 300 millimeter system, there's actually a 200 millimeter and a 100 millimeter insulation bat that's being placed out. Whereas in the other systems, for example, we have a 200 millimeter system, which I'll show in a moment. It's only the one insulation bat that gets uh, placed out. So again, you can get very detailed uh, schedules. And just here, I'd like to show the 200 system here. So the 200 system is a single insulation bat, as you can see here, with the render on top and the, uh, the reinforcing net as well. So what I'd like to do is just, uh, I'm going to pause here and go and set out um, the facades for this whole building and come back in a moment. And now we're back, I've set out everything in the um, on the building, as you can see here. And we can schedule and list everything um, regarding the steel facade cladding here. Uh, we get very detailed schedules out. And I'll just take away the individual components here, so we're going all the way down to the insulation bats, as you can see here. So we're very excited about this the stool facade cladding. Uh, it's a new development for us and we're very proud of it here at BIM Object. And it's totally free of charge via BIMObject.com. And don't forget to download the families as well and load them into your project. And we're showing here the, the 2D and the 3D as well. So very de detailed 2D level of detail. So please feel free to download them totally free of charge at beamobject.com and if you search after the stove facade cladding systems. Thank you for your time and we'll see you next time.